yet it had the delightful effect as all good rail journeys should of making you feel 12 years old again. Okay. Tranquil journey is what kind of journey? Peaceful, quiet, calm. Tranquil means quiet, peaceful. It was a tranquil night, calm and peaceful. All quiet, no trouble, peaceful, tranquil night. So the most tranquil journey I've ever taken was a train from York in England to London's King's Cross Station. The most otherworldly. What do you mean by otherworldly? In the world, he's really saying, in the world. He's had a train trip in England, but the other part of the world was the train trip in China. Okay? So otherworldly means in another part of the world. Uh, and the only one with a hint of murder on the Orient Express. What's he mean by that? Okay, murder on the Ori Orient Express was a movie about passengers on a train, they were being killed off one by one, and the detective was trying to find out who did it. And it was on the Trans-Siberian Railway, okay, Moscow to um, Vladivostok, I think it is. Yeah. Okay, a big long, it's a train ride that takes about 10 days, 11 days, okay. Uh, it was in China. When I took the night train from Beijing to Wuhan, the female guards wore crisp blue uniforms. Crisp here means highly starched. You know, the uniform was starched. Nice and sharp and neat. Mm -hmm. Crisp, in this case, means... Oops. Starched, neat, tidy. Okay. Crisp blue uniforms with Thunderbird hats. I'm not too sure. Thunderbirds. What are the Thunderbirds? Anyone know the Thunderbirds? They were a puppet show Eng produced in England about some guys and a gal that saved the world. They had spaceships and undersea submarines, all this sort of stuff. They were called the Thunderbirds. And it was very, very popular series. Very popular series. Okay? And bright red sashes. What's a sash? You may have worn some. Sash is that big wide ribbon you wear across, front and back. Okay? You know, the ones Miss World wears, mm -hmm. Miss Universe wears. That's a sash. Okay? The dining car served god awful food. What do you think? Good or bad? God awful. Bad. Okay, very bad. Okay, in this case, God often means bad. Very bad. God awful food. Okay, it was a God awful movie. Bad movie. Um, God awful food. The food was terrible but saved its reputation with cold King Long beer. So the food was terrible, but the good beer made up for everything else. Okay, so they probably drank their way from Beijing to Wuhan. Okay. And in the morning, after, after night in a soft sleep class. What do you think soft sleep class means? Remember, this is China. They use English differently than we do. Soft sleep would be just a nice um, overnight, you know, we can sleep overnight, uh, overnighter. Uh, yeah, uh, what do you call it? Sleeping, sleeping. Sleeping booty. A lot of the train trips in China and some of these other countries take two or three days. When I travel from Mos from um, Helsinki to Moscow, I used, um, I was three nights, sleeping berth, okay? Not fresh, okay? Soft sleep means nice one, okay? 
What's this mean? I don't know if they use it in, in Korea, but they certainly use it in China. Silver age. Senior citizens. Senior citizens. Senior. You can use it too. Silver what? age. You can use it in New Zealand. I never heard of anyone being in New Zealand. It's oh, usually senior. senior. Okay. Mm. <laughs> this was in Japan all the time. Silver age shops to sell stuff for seniors and people. He's oh, he's in a silver age because the hair, the hair changes. You know? I don't know about Korea. If they use it in Korea, okay. But it's it's that how can I put it? Asian English, if you know what I mean. Mm. Okay, Asian English. So soft sleep would be the same. Just means a nice, comfortable sleeping berth. Okay. I awoke to views of farmers working in their rice paddies before we clickety clacked. What's that mean? Clickety clacked. Anyone been on train ride? Trains? I'm sure you have. With a, one set of rails joins another set of rails, yeah. there's usually a little mm -hmm. clap, gap. Yeah, yes. mm -hmm. Whenever the wheels go over, click, mm -hmm. click, 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 click. Mm -hmm. That's what he's talking about. Mm -hmm. The train passing over the rails as the train's going down the rails. Clickety clack, clickety clack. Across the fat, slow snake of the Yangtze River. Fat, it's very wide, okay? Fat here means wide. It moves slowly, okay? It's one of the main rivers in China. And into one of China's oldest cities, Wuhan. Okay? Any questions up to there? Can you picture in your mind what's happening here? Okay? That's what I tell my students. When you read, picture, try and picture in your mind what's happening. It'll help you understand. If you just take the words as words, you're wasting your time. Okay? I wasn't expecting the Masterton to Wellington service would be quite so exciting. We don't have rice paddies, we don't have great big fat rivers, okay? Yet it had the delightful effect, as all good rail journeys should, of making you feel 12 years old again. When you're on a train, you feel different, okay? For some reason, most people feel differently when they're on a train. Maybe it's, you know, the, the excitement of being on a train, going clickety clack down the rails, who knows? But I certainly did. When I was in the military, I used to catch the, the ferry, ferry from Middleton, our station in Burnham and Christchurch. I'd catch the train, the bus to Littleton, get the ferry from Middleton to Wellington, and catch the train from Wellington up to Auckland, overnight trip, okay? And it was nice, sitting on the train, stopping at the stations, Bring, they used to bring tea onto the train, good old NZ up, New Zealand Railways thick cups, but they're thick, okay? But it was good, and that's what he's saying here. It was enjoyable, he felt like he was 12 years old again being on the train ride. A simple train ride. Any questions? Okay, uh, I guess.